All right, so this is another series in my uh, scripting language series where I demonstrate how to implement a uh, scripting language. All right, so um, here, um, like in previous videos, I'll show you that I used my parser to take a set of um, a script code and turn that into bytecode. So I'm going to take this, exp each line is going to be an expression passed to my parser to be compiled. Um, so I'm going to take this line and compile it, take this line and compile it, take this line and compile it. Um, so that's what's going on here. And I promise you that in this video, I'm going to show you what this compile, this parser actually looks like. So let's go ahead and look at that real quick. Um, so this is going to be the main entry to the parser um, at, uh, set of code to do what it needs to do. And from here, it's going to call its member functions to do everything else. Um, but first of all, the definition of the header as a whole, uh, the parser as a whole, looks like this. And I'm not going to go into too much detail in how it actually works, uh, because I did provide some heavy commentation, commenting for each line and tells you what's going on. Uh, so these are just for like example, this, these are helper, helper functions and they tell, they return a true or false value to tell you what's going on. As for example, does this token, token have commas in it? Okay. So this is where everything starts working. And so what's going to happen is, uh, a script, the address of a script is passed and it makes sure that everything is not null. Otherwise it complains. Uh, and then the expression is passed to it. First thing it's going to do is going to generate a set of tokens uh, and store everything inside of this to token. And next it's going to compile it. So let's take a look at the com uh, tokenizer. Uh, what the tokenizer is going to do is go line by line. And first of all, what this does is uh, it basically, you know, I did comment it, but the main purpose is to keep uh, things that are around quotes still in quotes and at the end of the function um, it cleans up the, it removes the quotes uh, next uh, basically it does um, it gets token and it does a loop and it keeps getting the next token and stores each one inside of uh, this function here no, I'm sorry this variable here stores everything inside of token and so yeah that's what it basically looks like um, and then next, of course, I told you that it calls tokenizer. And tokenizer's main job is to, I'm sorry, compiler's main job is to actually start generating the bytecodes. And uh, again, the bytecode looks something like this. All right. So uh, everything works in terms of higher pri higher priority to lower lowest priority. And the compiler at the same time is also a recursive function in which it calls itself several times and this variable here is to count the number of times uh, each expression has been called uh, using this uh, method so uh, keywords have the highest priority and it takes care of all that first Then we're done with keywords. And next we have special symbols like um, the closing off of a function or a loop or if statements. Also we have um, parentheses have the second highest priority followed by commas. And then we start with our mathematical operators like exponents. Um, multiplication, addition, subtraction, uh, and conditional operations, and um, and assignments. And then, if there is more, if still if there's still tokens that need to be taken care of, here we uh, call the compiler to compile the rest of the tokens that have yet to be uh, finished. So yeah, that's basically what's uh, happening inside of the parser. If anybody has a good website as to where to make these, this source code available to everybody to download, 
uh, please let me know in a comment below and I'll be more than willing to have this source code available. And the website I was using prior um, has it's kind of buggy and yeah I, I would like a better clean place to put the source code so y'all can download it uh, and use the source code. And uh, as always please leave a comment below and remember to rate and subscribe. Thank you.